It's time for the mic drop on each show by going deep on the one topic affecting our community and hopes we can all learn a little more. And this one affects our community. Earlier this week, Rolling Stone magazine put out their list of the 100 greatest television shows of all time. And it got the internet and our writer's room talking. The list compiled after polling staffers and people in the business of making TV shows, including actors, directors, creators, writers, producers, showrunners, covers every genre of TV. But we notice a few glaring omissions, which I'll be highlighting a bit. But also, the ordering of this list, extremely suspect. I mean, I understand that lists like this are subjective, but how are you going to have The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson at 91 but The Late Show with David Letterman at 44. Did anybody even think to ask Dave if she if she'd be ranked ahead of Johnny? The answer is no, by the way, and I love Letterman. Y'all know I love Letterman. He gave me my come up, but come on. We not talk, we talking about Johnny, not Jay. And what is Party Down, and why is it at number 82? Which intern snuck that onto the list? Was any proofreading done before you press publish? I could go on and on. Roots, a seminal moment in television at 29, while Friday Night Lights is at 20. Actually, you know what? I could I could see that. I can see that one. Clear eyes, full hearts. But why don't we take a look at the top 10? They've got Mary Tyler Moore at 10, Atlanta at 9, Cheers at 8, Mad Men at 7. Now I love Atlanta, but that's a little premature. I can't really argue with any of the rest of those. Each of them was a groundbreaking show. But I could also argue that you could take any of them out and replace it with Chappelle's show, which is sitting at 69. 10 spots behind Key and Peele. How, Sway? How? How? How is Chappelle's show behind the show that it paved the way for and was better than? Was the Party Down intern involved in this too? Now let's take a look at the top five. It goes Fleabag at five. Huh? I guess pilots are eligible on their own. The Wire at four. What? Breaking Bad, okay. The Simpsons, strong choice. And then they've got Sopranos as their all-time number one show. Uh, wrong, wrong. Yes, The Sopranos is a good show, possibly great. You know what? I'll even tell you, it was great, but better than The Wire? Word. If you got a choice between a Lamborghini and a Mercedes, you take the Lamborghini, right? Well, in this scenario, The Wire is a Lambo. And what I'm trying to figure out is how both of our writers, Randolph Terrence and Leon Scott, two grown men, neither one has ever watched it. How, Sway? How? I am embarrassed for you and everybody you've ever met. What's crazy about this list is the shows they completely left off. No Love Boat, no Fantasy Island, no Dallas, no Falcon Crest, no Matlock, no Arsenio. Woo, woo, woo. No In Living Color. Oh, but you put Friends on there. And no Martin. No Martin. Damn, Gina. And no Jersey Shore, the show that put Rash in trash television. Come on now. Now, all these shows were appointment television. And here's the most egregious one. No Cosby show. Rick and Morty made the list, but no Cosby. Yes, Bill Cosby is a heinous man, but what we're not going to do is sit here and act like he didn't produce some of the most groundbreaking and greatest television in history. Two things can be true, and any list of greatest shows without it, I Spy or Fat Albert, is suspect. Now, sure, go ahead and keep Fleabag on your top five greatest shows in history. That'll keep it legit. Now, I took y'all through one through five, and I took y'all through seven through ten, which brings me to number six. Seinfeld. How the Festivus is Seinfeld number six? You know, we're living in a society. You realize George saves a whale, right? You don't yada yada George Costanza. This is nothing but shrinkage. This is more like a junior mint. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I wouldn't spare a square for the people that put Seinfeld at number six. No soup for you. May the dingo eat your baby. Any list of greatest shows that doesn't have The Wire and Seinfeld in the top two spots looks like a puffy shirt over a man's ear. What I am, what good is this kind of contest? I'm out.